This is Xavier McKnight here with the Tiger Eye News here at Savannah State University. But the Savannah State University marching band, better known as the powerhouse of the South, is out here holding a protest campus wide right now against Dr. Dozier and the administration for scholarships that they were promised but said that they have not received. Students march from the student unity plot to the student union to the King Fraser Atrium out to the steps of Hill Hall here at Savannah State University. Students have received notices telling them that they will be kicked out of the campus by Sunday if those finances are not paid. Students also are complaining that they do not currently have meal plans in place as well and that professors are not allowing them to sit in class because they are not on the roll due to those lack of finances. We demand that contracts be made with those whom we are performing for that guarantees that the cost of food and the cost of transportation and the cost of living will be covered. Dr. Carl Walton here at the SSU administration came out and spoke to members of the marching band and said that scheduling meetings will take place as soon as Dr. Dozier is back in town to speak with the leadership of the powerhouse of the South. He also said that matters are expected to be handled before Friday. I will establish a meeting, an opportunity for you to sit down with the leadership of the university administration. I don't think you've had that opportunity as a group. So we're gonna try to, we're gonna make that happen. I'm gonna commit to making that happen for us, that you have the opportunity to sit down with the leadership of the university and express your concern. This has been Xavier McKnight with Tiger Eye News.